It's not only the Mediterranean's sandy beaches which lure visitors. Newborn sea turtles are another big attraction. Tourists watch in awe as volunteers of the Marine Turtle Conservation Project dig through the sand to find the hatchlings. The divided island of Cyprus hosts more than half of the Mediterranean's turtle nests, making the Alagadi beach in the Turkish north an important site for conservation and research. We took the tourists down to a public excavation. This was a nest that hatched last night and we excavated the nest taking any live hatchlings out of the nest but also looking at the contents within the nest so the amount of hatched eggs, the amount of unhatched eggs, the how far um, develops the embryo is inside the egg. Only one in a thousand of these baby sea turtles manage to reach adulthood. High spring tides and predators are a constant threat but above all else humans are their biggest danger from shoreside development to excessive fishing practices. And that's something officials say they are working to change. If we want sea turtles to uh, live, we have to make not polluted seawater, not polluted uh, suns and beaches, and no construction. The main thing is, is the construction. After the excavation, the volunteers take the turtles back to the center to rest before their journey to the sea. Here, they collect data, including weight and length. I know most of them are endangered, endangered species, and the, the help that these guys give is amazing to help them increase their chances of survival and not becoming extinct. The hatchlings use the moonlight as guidance. Light and noise pollution can cause them to be disoriented and revert from their natural path. But red lights are off their radar. Now. It's time to go home. One day, the Alagadi Beach will welcome back some of these turtles as grown-ups, who in turn will create a new generation, right here where their lives began.